Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Science Query. I am your host Dr. Asha and in this video I am going to talk about neurons, its structure, functions and types. Neurons are the basic unit of the nervous system which is responsible for sending signals throughout the body. The nervous system and the endocrine system control and coordinate the body's activity. The nervous system enables human to react to their surrounding and to coordinate their behavior according to that. It comprises millions of neurons and uses electrical impulses to communicate very quickly. Hence, we can say that the neurons are the basic unit of the nervous system. They are electrically excitable cells that transmit signals throughout the body. A typical structure of neuron consists of dendrite and the soma cell or the cell body and the extended nerve fiber known as the axon. The dendrites are the part of the neurons that receives input from other cells. They are the short branched extension of the nerve cell. Next part of the neuron is the cell body or the soma cell. It contains the nucleus, thus is the core part of the neuron. These soma cells provide energy and maintain the neuron structure. The final part of the neuron is the nerve fiber. This nerve fiber is also known as the axon. Axons are the long thread-like part of the nerve cells that transmit electrical impulse away from the cell body. Now let us deep dive into the detailed structure of the neuron. First let us see the detailed structure of a dendrite. When we look closely to the dendritic cell of the neuron, we will find that it is made up of dendritic spine, which is further divided into dendritic neck and dendritic head. These dendritic spines have actin filament, which are connected to the receptors. When these receptors become active from the external stimulus, it transmits the signal throughout the filament. Now again, these dendrites are rich in microtubules and microfilament. That is the actin filament and it receives the transmission. But the dendrites lacks neurofilaments. Now let us see the detailed structure of body or the soma cell. The soma cell of the neuron contains all the essential cell organelles to support the normal function of the cells. The main cell organelle of the soma cells are nucleus, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes and cytoplasm. Now let us see the detailed structure of the nerve fiber that is known as the axon. An axon contain axon hillock, myelin sheath, Schwann cell, node of Ranvier, axon terminal and synaptic and bulb. Axon hillock is the point where axons originate. It is cone shaped in structure. Axons are long fiber that transmit information to different neurons, muscles and glands. Axons are covered by membrane called axolemma. The cytoplasm of the axon is known as exoplasm. Exolemma just like other cell membrane are made up of lipid bilayer. Exolemma conveys signals between neurons and Schwann cells. Next is the Schwann cells. Schwann cells are the myelin forming cells. Research on zebrafish nerve cells proves that Schwann cells can heal injured spinal cord by remyelinating the axon cells. Next is the myelin sheath. It covers the nerves of the brain and spinal cord. Myelin sheath is an insulating lipid rich layer wrapping the nerve cells. The function of myelin sheath are it helps in efficient traveling of electrical impulses, keeps a check on the speed of electric conduction, also prevent the nerve cells to undergo cell division. Next important part of the nerve fiber is the node of Ranvier. Node of Ranvier also known as the myelin sheath gap is a unique molecular structure. The axon terminal are the end part of the axon which looks like fingers. Axon terminals releases the neurotransmitter. The axon terminals are in close proximity with other cells or nerves. But these axon terminals do not touch another nerve or the effector cells such as the muscles. 
the synaptic end bulbs are the swelling at the end of the axon terminals synaptic end bulbs have synaptic vesicles which contain the neurotransmitter before being released these synaptic vesicles releases the neurotransmitters into the synaptic cleft now in the last let us see the types of neurons there are mainly three types of neuron sensory neurons motor neurons and interneurons first is the sensory neurons sensory neurons are the neurons that responds to sensory information it receives signal from the environment and send it to the brain next is the motor neurons motor neuron communicate information from the brain to the tissue and organs it allows the movement of the body last is the interneuron majority of the neurons are interneurons it transmit information between sensory and motor neurons these neurons plays a key role in the learning memory and planning now before concluding the video let us check your knowledge the brain and spinal cord together constitute one central nervous system two peripheral nervous system three endocrine system or four autonomous nervous system the answer for this question is central nervous system the brain and the spinal cord together are the part of central nervous system dendrites and axons are a part of which cell one rbc two wbc three nerve cells or four nephrons well the answer for this question is nerve cells dendrite and axons are the part of nerve cells next question is what is a myelin sheath one it covers the heart wall two it covers the brain and spinal cord nerves three it is the outer layer of the nephron four none of the above answer for this question is two it covers the brain and spinal cord nerves the next question is what type of neurons are present in abundance one sensory neuron two motor neurons three interneurons or four none of the above the answer for this question is three interneurons interneurons are the type of neurons that are present in abundance now the last question which part of the neuron receives input from other cells one axon terminal two soma cells three dendrites or four none of the above the answer for this question is three dendrite dendrites are the part of the neuron that receives input from other cell well that is all about neuron its function description and types if you like my video then please subscribe my channel science query and please like share and comment thank you